Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. Sitting on my desk here is the most exciting smartphone to come into the Geekanoids studio this year. I'm really, really excited about this. Now, for those of you who doubted me when I switched Android uh, with the OnePlus, um, well, listen up. I think there's going to be a new daily driver in my pocket. This is the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Uh, from what I've seen online so far, it looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So many great features. The specifications are amazing. And it's also got this triple camera system on the back. We're going to take a look at that during this video. Now before I do the unboxing, I just want to say a big, big thank you to Huawei for making this video possible. I'm really excited of the possibility of this becoming my new daily driver. Uh, I, I just can't emphasize that enough. I'm re really genuinely excited. Now, I also want to cover off some of the main specifications. I'm not going to list all of them in this video because they're readily available online. Uh, but this has got a 6.39 inch screen. The resolution is 1440 by 3120. The three cameras on the back, the highest resolution one is 40 megapixels, also capable of capturing uh, UHD or 2160p video. There's also eight gigabytes of RAM inside here. Uh, it's running a Kirin 980 processor, which flies performance-wise, really very high performance processor. And also a very good battery, 4,200 milliamp hour battery. I think that's really impressive. Now, I haven't handled this much yet, uh, but I have popped it back in the box so we can do the unboxing for you. So let's have a look inside the box. So here we go, this is what the box looks like. Very, very understated box, very stealthy looking box. We've got here Huawei Mate 20 Pro across the top, the Huawei logo, and also a Leica triple camera because the camera and the lenses uh, have been sort of developed in partnership with Leica. So really very, very exciting. So let's take this off. A silent swoosh. Ah, oh, here we go. Wow. That is one sleek looking device. I'm gonna give you a very, very quick look at the triple camera on the back there. Excuse the um, uh, reflections there. Uh, and this is really nice. Wow, look at this. We've got like a, I know it's a very small detail, but I love that. So this is the, the black model. It's also available in like a greeny color and also a twilight blue. I think the green's called emerald green, twilight blue, and then we've got this stunning black color. Let's remove this off the back. Oh, wow, I absolutely love it. Just got one more sticker to remove. Is it going to come off? Here we go. There we go. So that's the stickers removed off the back. Wow. I absolutely love the look of this phone. This is stunning. Very, very nice indeed. I'm going to start it up and then just pop it to one side whilst it's starting. Hopefully we've got some uh, juice left in here. Here we go. So that's starting up. Let's just take a look at the, the other box contents whilst that's starting. So we've got a little tray here which we're going to remove. We've got a SIM removal tool and really nice to see inside this uh, little tray is apart from the quick start guide we've got a case. Love it! Such great value that we get a case so it's just, just a clear silicon case but we can protect that nice shiny back from day one. And then we've also got the quick start guide and this is just going to guide you through getting everything up and running. So a quick start guide there. Now let's have a look further down inside the box. And we've got the accessories. We've got the power brick. This happens to be a European one. But the good thing about this is I think this is a 40 watt. Uh, let me just double check. I'm sure it's a 40 watt power brick or thereabouts. But it charges really very fast. Now this is a big deal. Listen up, some manufacturers give us smartphones that charge fast and a certain one doesn't include 
a fast charger inside the box. Such a simple thing. And Huawei do it right. They give you the, the fast charge capability and the charger inside the box. And then we've also got a USB to USB-C charging cable. This does charge wirelessly as well, and it charges wirelessly at a fast rate. Huawei also announced a 15 watt fast charger, wireless fast charger. A pair of earphones, USB-C. And then for those of us who want to use um, sort of older three and a half millimeter uh, audio jack earphones or headphones, we get a little USB-C to uh, 3.5 millimeter audio adapter. Another thing that isn't included in some smartphone boxes. Listen up, listen up. This is if you're going to change ports, include the adapters. So well done, Huawei. I want to just give this is genuine. I want to give you a round of applause on that because you include the needed accessories inside the box. So let's just pop. I want to pop this into the case. Actually, it's a really. Let me give you a look at the back first of all. It's a really nice shiny back. And we can see a reflection there of all of my uh, soundproofing. And then we've got the triple camera uh, on there and the flash. So it's in this like square cube arrangement. Very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Let's have a look at this in the case. It has started up as well now. So let's just pop this in the case. Oh, that fits really nicely. Feels really nice in the hand. You can still see the really nice back on this. It's still got a nice mirror finish on it. I want to give you a closer look at that camera array as well. So we've got 40 megapixels on the main camera and then the resolutions go lower on the other two. And they're used not, not only for sort of optical zoom but also for some of the portrait type effects. Uh, really very, very good from what I've seen so far. I can't wait to test those. So we have got a fingerprint unlock on this. We've got fingerprint unlock, but where's the fingerprint sensor? It's not on the back, it's not on the front, it's under the screen. So under the screen here, you can see when I tap, the little fingerprint icon appears there, and we have to place our finger on there to unlock the phone. Now because it's a fresh start, I've got to put a pin code in. Let's just do that again. So if we tap the screen, You've got an always on display which is an option I've set up in settings but you see the fingerprint sensor appear just there and then if we put our finger on then it unlocks you have to get the position uh, quite accurate on this one so you have to sort of position your finger within that zone but a fingerprint sensor behind the glass let me just turn that screen brightness down and then just look at this screen absolutely stunning very very high resolution the detail and the colors are gorgeous this is an AMOLED panel it goes right up to the edge a very minimal chin on the bottom a very small notch on the top I'm still not personally a big big fan of notches but this is one of the smaller ones unlike some other new smartphones that are due in the studio very soon uh, really very very nice screen let's pop the brightness all the way up so that's at its brightest. It is super, super bright. Plenty bright enough to see in direct sunlight. Now let's just go into settings. I want to go into system. I want to do about phone. So this is running Android version 9 out of the box and also EMUI uh, version 9 as well. So their latest version of their sort of overlay on top of Android. Now you can have this without an app tray or with an app tray. If you have it without an app tray, all of your apps are just spread over the various screens. Let's just turn that brightness down a little bit more. Uh, but I've opted to have an app tray. So this is what my app tray looks like. I have been installing all of my apps. Uh, really very, very nicely laid out. Uh, I just love it. It's so, so smooth and transitioning between screens, opening up things, uh, launching apps. Very, very smooth. Buttery, buttery smooth. Really nice experience so far. We can, of course, pull down notifications from the top. Uh, we can go into the main settings to give you a look at the main settings. Let's do that. This is how the settings are laid out. So really nicely laid out. This EMUI in version 9 is a big, big improvement over previous versions. Absolutely love it. 
Now I want to try the camera live during this video. We've got it set to photo already. Um, let's do, actually let's switch this round and we will do a portrait. So let's just pop this here. Let's smile at least. So here we go. So we can have mirror on or mirror off. So you can change this in camera settings. Let's put mirror off so that it looks correct. Let's have a look at this photo. Wow, that is pin sharp. Wow, very, very good. I am super impressed with that. The tonality of it, the detail is absolutely amazing. For the first photo I've taken with this, I am super, super impressed. That is really very, very good. I want to take one with the uh, rear facing camera. Let's just pop over here and take a picture of my keyboard just here. Less than optimal lighting conditions in this area. Let's just take a picture here. We've got some depth of field creeping in. Let's have a look at this photo. Oh my goodness, it needs a dust. It's picked up all the dust on this back keyboard. The keyboard over the back here that you can just about see in shot. I only really use this just for controlling the live broadcast. I don't use it for typing on it. It's got some dust on it. But that shows, that's zoomed in. That shows you just how good this camera is. Look at the detail on that. That is absolutely fantastic. Wow, and I'm only just touching the surface on this phone. It's only just newly unboxed. I had a quick sneak peek yesterday just to check everything was in there. But wow, I am very, very impressed. I want to give you another look at that screen. This is a stunning, stunning smartphone. Wow. I, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Let's take a look inside the live chat. This is a live broadcast, of course. Uh, we've got loads of you in the live chat. Thank you very much to everyone tuning in on this Saturday morning. Uh, I want to give a shout out to some of you who got in really early in the live chat. Then I'll take some questions. We've got Mirza Memic. Good morning to you. Also, good morning to the Chase Pop, Future Cars, Aaron Stoy, Dean Sturrock, Cole Malone, Art Dog, the Aylesbury Cyclist as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got uh, Cole Malone. I'm confused about what your daily driver is now, Dave. It's currently the One Plus Six, uh, so that's what I'm using currently. Uh, I do also have uh, an iPhone Eight Plus, uh, which I use for some testing of cases, and I also have an iPhone XS Max in the studio as well. I also have the new uh, Google Pixel Three XL coming in to review, and it gets confusing because I. Uh, test so many smartphones the daily driver situation is that this I think from from early looks is going to become my new daily driver and then I'll still carry a secondary phone as well but this is going to become my main device now something else this does is we've got the always on display and I can lift it up and then swipe to open and it does face unlock as well so let me just try and give you a look at that uh, see if you can see the screen so it's off at the moment lift it up the little lock unlocks because it's seen my face and then we can swipe to unlock very very fast on that as well so really good fingerprint reader underneath the glass that's amazing in its own right but also face unlock as well so let's see if we've got any more questions uh Junrix, uh henson amazing phone dave i agree it looks absolutely gorgeous uh, art dog can't afford that but i love the under display sensor me too, I think that's a really good uh, feature they built into it. Uh, and also we've got uh, Lee Barber, Morning Dave, as a Samsung and Apple veteran, I'm very impressed. I, I totally agree, I'm super impressed so far. Um, Western Gents United, always make me smile with your questions. Favourite curry? Shock horror, you need to be sitting down for this. I really don't like curry. Even the smell of it cooking. Rest of the family likes curry even the smell of it cooking absolutely don't like uh, future cars do you think Huawei and other brands lowering prices will pressure Apple uh, well yes most definitely some great value smartphones available uh, from other manufacturers and it must put pressure on not only just Apple but on other manufacturers as well it's it's good to have competition that's what drives innovation as well uh, Navi, uh, Navid Siddiq uh, Dave, a bit of a side one, but can you give us your second views 
of the Apple Watch Series 4 after a couple of weeks. I will do that in a separate video. I'll talk all about smartwatches in a separate one. Uh, and John Bushell, probably the first phone to make Apple take notice. Most definitely. Let me just unlock this again. Put my... I just can't believe you just put your your fingerprint in the middle of the screen or lower part of the screen and it unlocks. Wow, this is good. This is a very, very good phone. Now, this is only a, an unboxing, first look, first impressions. The, the actual hardware, I think, is very well built. We've got the power on off. Admittedly, I've got the case on here now. We've got the power button just here, volume rocker just here. Uh, along the top edge, we've got some microphones along the top edge. So we've got mics along the top edge there. Along the bottom edge, we've got some more microphones along the bottom edge. We've also got USB-C. Uh, pretty sure the speakers are arranged so that they're on the edges as well. I might be wrong on that. Uh, and on this side here, uh, it's completely clear. I think that the SIM tray is on the top edge there. Can't see it through the case. But I will cover that. Oh no, the SIM tray is actually on the bottom. Something else to mention is the SIM tray here. Uh, you can expand the memory on this and Huawei actually have um, uh, developed and launched, it's going to be available very soon, new nano memory cards, they're called NM cards, smaller than micro SD, and I've seen them available in up to 128 gigabyte capacity. So I'm going to be trying to get one of those in for this as well. Now I have also got a range of cases coming in, uh, because even, I'm going to say, I think this is going to be my new daily driver. I, I'm, I was started the video off saying, I'm going to see how it goes, but I'm so, so impressed with this that I'm pretty safe to say this is going to remain in my pocket and in my hand as my daily driver. So I've got some cases coming in, which I'm going to cover in some future videos as well, and then I'll share with you what my favourite case is for the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. In my latter video, I'll also share with you some footage captured, both video and also some photos taken with this. So do keep an eye out for that. I'll be bringing you that video. I like to give it at least a week with a new smartphone. So, so give me a week, maybe a little bit longer, and then I'll bring you my real user opinion of this smartphone. But for, for early impressions, I'm just so, so impressed with the quality of the display and how this feels in the hand. It's quite a tall phone, but it doesn't feel top heavy. Love the cameras. I'm really looking forward to getting to grips with those. And uh, I, I'm just so impressed. Huawei have got a winner on their hands with this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Uh, before I wind up this video, let's take one last look <laughs> in the uh, live chat. We've got Art Dog. The price of the OnePlus 6 is dropping quite a bit. Something that rarely happened before. Very, very true. Uh, also, to Netro P, I have a phone with the power button in the same place and it's easy to accidentally hit when picking it up or putting it down. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes with the placement of the power button. But for now, I will leave you one last look at this gorgeous, gorgeous phone. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got another question just come in. So, two questions in fact. I will just cover these. Art Dog, how big is that screen? 6.39 inches. Uh, also, does the notch bother you? Uh, the notch, I'm not a great fan of notches, but at least this one is very, very small. It's quite a slim notch on the top of the phone there. So let me give you a close-up of that notch. You know, it is one of the slimmer, more discreet ones. And you can, you can hide that in the software as well if you want, but I'm going to keep it turned on for now and see how it goes. So that really is it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. If you are watching this after the live broadcast, Use the comment section below for your questions or comments. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, please hit the notification bell because that way you'll get notified when I either go live or when I upload a video. And one last thing, please do hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in another video very soon.